All right, so the first thing that we'll do is let's take a look in the network folder. If you open up the network folder, you will see a bunch of new handouts there. Uh, the first one, they're all numbered, so the first one that I want to direct your attention to is, I forgot to put the Mac one in there, but there's zero. So uh, you'll be able to print these out a little bit later. The printer's a little bit noisy, but you'll be able to see them at the moment. Let's look at zero number, zero first. Copy these to your desktop or flash drive. So there's zero, set up your station. One, setting up Visual Studio. You've already seen this one, most likely. Two, the anatomy of Visual Studio project. Three, the WW folder. And number four, plugins. These are concepts that we've already touched on last time, but now here they're kind of condensed into a few handouts. Let's look at the first one, number zero. So I'm going to copy these to my desktop, and then we'll look at the first one, zero. With number zero, this is something that you need to do every time you come in, and it is annoying, but the more you do it, the faster it'll happen. Because if you're going to use our computers here, um, you need to set yourself up, either with your software or um, hardware. I'm going to pass out the tablets in a moment. Again, this will be first come, first serve. But before that, looking at this handout number zero, these are the tasks you need to do every day. You need to turn on Visual Studio create a test project. We will, of course, work with a real project every day, starting today, but I would still recommend to create a test project, which you're not going to need to keep. You can just save it to the desktop, whatever. Because what I'm trying to do is to explain here that every time you come in, whenever we do this simulate, or whenever we do run on device, it's going to take a while the first time. So instead of me doing the lecture, and we're continuing with our work, and then I say click run, and half of everyone is waiting for their thing to compile the first time, I want you to get into the habit of, as soon as you come in, set up your environment as per these instructions, compile a test project so that Visual Studio is ready, so all of the components have been downloaded and set up and ready to go. And then also, you have to take the time to set up your device if you're going to use your device. If you're going to use my device, it's ready to go, but you should still follow these steps to create the simple project, to run it in the simulator, because sometimes it's faster to run it in a simulator as you test, and also run it in a device if you have access to a device. Basically, this is an exercise to set this up, and then the final item here is close it, close this project. This is just a test project that won't matter, but it matters for the first five minutes of the class for you to run your project. So either now, we'll take a moment, either you will set up your real device the same way we did it on Tuesday, you'll need to download the driver, all of that, or I'll take people to come up here so you can get your tablet if you're going to check out a tablet. Where do we download the driver right Depending on your device, you have to search for it and find the driver on your company's website. Sort of like, uh, 
you have something handy, they can give it to them. All right, so if you got one of our tablets, I would still follow these steps. I would just plug in the tablet, launch Visual Studio, create a simple project, and then set it to run on the device. That way it'll prepare Visual Studio uh, to work quickly today, because the first time you do this compile, it's the slowest. If you've got your own device, uh, you need to again um, turn on the debug mode, right? If you turned off debug mode on your device when you left last time, you need to turn on debug mode again. If you didn't turn off debug mode, it's probably still on since last time. I'm going to turn on debug mode, and plug it in, and then do this. If you don't have your own device, or the one that I checked out, you'll still be able to simulate. So I want you to do that part. Start Visual Studio and run it. If you came in a little bit late, there's a bunch of new handouts in the network folder. It's handout zero. So you want to, everyone wants to do this first as soon as you come in to prepare Visual Studio for a, a day's development. I'm going to give everyone a, little, a few minutes to get it done, and then we'll get started our main lecture. <laughs> 